Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield three and a half minutes to my good friend, the general lady from Florida, Representative Kamak. Thank you to my friend and colleague. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I am here today to rise in support of ordering the previous question on Congresswoman Harrell's bill, the Shields Act, that would stop the Biden administration from ending Title 42, the very necessary public health order used by CBP officials at the southwest border. Now, since President Biden took office in January of last year, Customs and Border Protection officials have encountered over 2 million illegal immigrants at the southern border. This number is more than at any other time during the Trump administration and still continues to astonish those of us who have actually visited the border to see what's happening there. You know, unlike our trafficker in chief who would rather retreat to his beach house in Delaware than face the American people or the so-called border czar who visited El Paso once and figured that that was good enough, I myself have been to the border three times to see this crisis for myself. In fact, over 70% of my Republican colleagues have been to see the tragic crisis unfolding there. And you know, as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, I have followed this issue from the very beginning and have feared the very day when Title 42 would be rescinded for political purposes. You know, speaking of political purposes, I find it exceptionally hypocritical that this very chamber is still utilizing proxy voting under the guise of a public health concern. In fact, on March 29th, the speaker extended proxy voting through May 14th of this year because, quote, the ongoing public health crisis. Curious that the speaker doesn't seem to think that our own border being overrun by two million undocumented people with no bear, has no bearing on the safety of the general American public, but a Congress, a Congress of 435 members with an 80% vaccination rate does not seem to qualify. That, to me, screams hypocrisy. Furthermore, there are members of this, of this chamber who have been voting present via proxy. The hypocrisy and the irony is not lost on me nor the American people, Mr. Speaker. Additionally, every single one of my colleagues who has decided to show up here today had to wear a mask to get on the plane. That mandate is still in place due to the ongoing public health crisis. So I ask you, Mr. Speaker, we have two very clear instances here in this chamber where the quote-unquote ongoing public health crisis is used as a justification for policy decisions. Why not the safety then for all Americans and our communities across this country by securing the border. Why not uphold and keep Title 42 in place? If you've ever spoken to a CBP officer or Border Patrol agent, they'll tell you that Title 42 is necessary, that ending it will send even more people to the southern border. It is a magnet. Ending it will prolong the crisis. It will grow the crisis, and it will, once and for all, put an end to national security as we know it. Take it from the wife of a first responder who deals with this crisis every single day. I've had dozens of Border Patrol agents text and call me the last few days begging for help to hold the line on Title 42. They have said, please, Congress, hold the line on Title 42. It must be protected because it is the only policy in place currently in the slightest that will slow this surge that we have watched grow before our eyes. If you stand with our Border Patrol agents, if you stand with the American people, if you give a damn about our communities, then you will support the SHIELD Act. And with that, I yield back.